A lot of people don't know this, but I grew up in Michigan, and I was really excited because I got to spend the day with Mickey Mouse Club member Chris Boucher in Farmington Hills, Michigan, which is really close to my home. Chris, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man. I'm nice looking forward too. to it. Glad you can make it. Yeah. Why don't you come on in? Sure. We have breakfast on the table. I introduced him to my mom and dad and all of my brothers and sisters, and uh, we sat down and had a nice breakfast, and uh, we talked, and uh, well, I think he really got along with everyone. Here's to the most important meal of the day. I found out Chris and I have something really cool in common. We both love to jam on the guitar and sing. So after breakfast, we went up to Chris's room to play a few tunes. Tell him about it, Chris. We're talking about Here's how it goes. Maybe we can. Oh yeah. Tony was just uh, twanging away on the guitar, and I was just uh, singing whatever come to mind. I got a real kick out of it. We are two bad brothers from the Motor City. Hey, jamming on the guitar was Look just for starters. Was then Chris and I headed for the hottest video arcade in town. This looks like a lot of fun, man. Yes. Okay, okay, there's no doubt you got it on me on the video games, but let's take it to the place where I'm more comfortable, the basketball court. I smell a challenge. Come on. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. When we first started playing basketball, it was a small friendly competition, but then uh, Tony ran a couple jumpers on me and uh, started to get serious, so I had to uh, show him what was up. Oh, oh. Woo, good. Count. Eh. After we showed each other our moves on the court, I hung out with Chris and his friends and shared some of my experiences know, as a Mouseketeer. So what do you like best about being on the show? Um, I like working with 18 other kids, you know, around my age that are, you know, very talented kids. And, you know, just to be able to hang out with kids that do what you do, like a lot of the things you like. How do your friends react to your recent success? You're really true good friends. You really find out who they are after something like that because they're the ones that are going to, you know, be supportive and care about what you do care about what you do. Just because you get on um, you know, TV and, you know, some magazines every now and then, people are like, wow, you know, what's it like being a star? And I don't really see myself as being a star. Like, I mean, you know, to hang out with, I do as much hanging out with, you know, just other people like shooting hoop or doing whatever as I can because, you know, you got to keep your feet on the ground. Do you uh, like living in Florida? It's cool. I like the, the lifestyle down there because it's real fast paced. You're working and then when you're you go to the movies or dance clubs or whatever. There's a lot of, lot of things to do. It's pretty cool. I like Florida a lot. Where do you see Tony Luca 20 years from now? Hopefully, uh, I don't know. Hopefully up in front of a lot of people entertaining. I like to entertain and uh, hopefully it's something I can pursue. You know, um, hopefully somewhere in the music business because I, I love music. Next up, Chris and I went back in time to the Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village, a huge historical complex that incorporates some of the most important inventions in American history. Finally, we had a chance to check out the Wright Brothers Bicycle Shop. This is the building that the Wright Brothers actually invented their airplane or their flying machine, but they also repaired bicycles. Before we knew it, the time had come to take advantage of the Wright Brothers' most famous invention, the airplane, and fly home. This day it ranks up there with the best of them because uh, I got to meet and know Tony as a person and not just a mouseketeer.